When we look at a flat map, it seems logical to fly straight across the Pacific Ocean. We see a straight line and assume it's the shortest path. This is a common misconception that many people have when they first start learning about geography and navigation. We naturally think in straight lines. Our brains are wired to simplify complex shapes into more manageable forms, and straight lines are the simplest of all. This is why, when we look at a flat map, we instinctively draw straight lines to connect two points. However, our perception can be deceiving. Just like optical illusions trick our eyes, flat maps can trick our understanding of distance and direction. The reality is far more complex than it appears at first glance. The Earth is not flat, it's a sphere. This fundamental fact changes everything about how we navigate and understand distances. On a spherical Earth, the shortest path between two points is not a straight line on a flat map, but a curved line on the globe. This simple fact changes everything about long-distance travel, especially for airplanes. Pilots and navigators have to account for the curvature of the Earth to find the most efficient routes. This is why flight paths often look curved when you see them on a flat map. Imagine stretching a string across a globe. The string would naturally form a curve, not a straight line. This curve is known as a great circle route, and it represents the shortest distance between two points on a sphere. The great circle route is the path that airplanes try to follow. By flying along this curved path, they can minimize the distance traveled and save both time and fuel. This is crucial for long-haul flights that cover vast distances across the globe. This is the path airplanes try to follow. Although it appears curved on a flat map, it's actually the shortest and most efficient way to travel between two points on a sphere. This understanding is essential for modern aviation and helps ensure that flights are as efficient as possible. Although it appears curved on a map, it's actually the shortest and most efficient way to travel between two points on a sphere. This principle is not just limited to aviation, it applies to all forms of navigation, including maritime and even space travel. Understanding the illusion of straight lines on flat maps helps us better grasp the true nature of our spherical world. The Earth's curvature is a fundamental factor in aviation, particularly for long-haul flights over vast bodies of water like the Pacific Ocean. If an airplane were to fly in a straight line on a map, it would actually be traveling a longer distance. This is because the Earth's surface curves away beneath the plane. By following a great circle route which takes into account the Earth's curvature, airlines can significantly reduce the distance traveled. This results in considerable fuel savings and shorter flight times, ultimately benefiting both the airline and the passengers. Fuel is one of the most significant expenses for airlines. For long flights across the Pacific, fuel efficiency is paramount. Every mile saved translates into cost savings. Airlines are constantly seeking ways to optimize their routes and reduce fuel consumption. This is why the concept of great circle routes is so crucial. By taking advantage of the Earth's curvature, airlines can minimize the distance traveled and use less fuel. This not only saves money but also reduces the environmental impact of aviation. Safety is the top priority in aviation. When it comes to flying over the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, ensuring the safety of passengers and crew is even more critical. This is where ETOPS, Extended Range Twin Engine Operational Performance Standards, regulations come into play. ETOPS regulations dictate how far a twin engine aircraft can fly from a suitable airport for an emergency landing. Curved routes often keep planes closer to land masses, providing more options in case of an emergency. While modern aircraft are incredibly reliable, having backup plans is essential for safe air travel. Section 5. The Jet Stream Express. High above the Earth's surface, powerful winds known as jet streams circle the globe. These narrow bands of strong winds are found in the upper levels of the atmosphere, typically at altitudes of about 30,000 to 39,000 feet. They are formed by the temperature differences between the equator and the poles, and they play a crucial role in shaping our weather patterns. These jet streams can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. They are most commonly found in the tropopause, the boundary between the troposphere and the stratosphere. The speed and direction of jet streams can vary, but they generally flow from west to east due to the rotation of the Earth. Pilots have learned to utilize these jet streams to their advantage, much like a sailboat uses the wind. By carefully planning their flight paths, pilots can catch these powerful winds to boost their speed and efficiency. This practice not only helps in reducing flight times, but also in conserving fuel. 
which is both economically and environmentally beneficial. By flying in the direction of the jet stream, airplanes can significantly reduce flight times and save fuel. For instance, a flight from New York to London can be shortened by up to an hour if the plane catches a strong jet stream. This reduction in flight time translates to substantial fuel savings, which can be critical for long-haul flights. This is particularly relevant for flights across the Pacific, where the jet stream often flows from west to east. The Pacific jet stream is one of the most powerful and consistent, making it a key factor in flight planning for trans-Pacific routes. Airlines often adjust their schedules and routes to take advantage of these winds, ensuring a smoother and faster journey. This is why flights from North America to Asia typically take longer than flights in the opposite direction. When flying westward, planes are often flying against the jet stream, which can slow them down and increase fuel consumption. Conversely, eastward flights benefit from the tailwind, making the journey quicker and more efficient. Understanding and utilizing the jet stream is a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of modern aviation. Section 6. Weathering the Pacific the Pacific Ocean is known for its vastness and its unpredictable weather patterns. From powerful storms to areas of heavy turbulence, flying over the Pacific presents unique challenges for pilots. Weather is a major factor in determining flight paths. Airlines and pilots carefully monitor weather conditions and adjust flight paths accordingly. While it might seem counterintuitive, sometimes it's safer and more efficient to fly a slightly longer route to avoid severe weather. Section 7. PACOTS and NOPAC Air Traffic Control Imagine the skies above the Pacific Ocean as a busy highway. To ensure the safe and efficient flow of air traffic, organized track systems have been established. The two primary systems are PACOTS, the Pacific Organized Track System, and NOPAC, the North Pacific Route System. These systems act like lanes in the sky, providing designated routes for aircraft to follow. PACOTS and NOPAC are adjusted daily based on weather conditions, jet stream locations, and air traffic volume. This ensures optimal spacing between aircraft and minimizes the risk of collisions. Section 8. The Bigger Picture So, the next time you see a flight path on a map that appears curved, remember that there's more to it than meets the eye. It's not just about connecting two points, it's about fuel efficiency, safety, navigating winds, and managing air traffic. The decisions made by airlines and pilots are based on a complex interplay of factors, all with the goal of ensuring a safe, efficient, and comfortable journey for passengers. It's a testament to the wonders of aviation and the ingenuity of those who make it possible. Section 9. Conclusion, A Curved Path Forward the world of aviation is a fascinating blend of science, technology, and human ingenuity. From the early days of flight where pioneers like the Wright brothers took to the skies with rudimentary machines, to today's advanced jets that can travel halfway around the globe in a matter of hours, aviation has always been at the forefront of innovation. The intricate dance of aerodynamics, propulsion, and navigation is a testament to human creativity and determination. Understanding why planes don't fly straight across the Pacific Ocean provides a glimpse into the intricate factors that shape air travel. The concept of the Great Circle Route, which is the shortest path between two points on a sphere, is a fundamental principle in aviation. This route often appears curved on a flat map, but it is the most efficient way to travel long distances. Pilots and flight planners must consider a myriad of factors, including wind patterns, air traffic, and even geopolitical considerations, to chart the safest and most efficient course. It's a reminder that sometimes, the shortest distance between two points isn't a straight line but a curved path that accounts for the realities of our planet and the complexities of flight. The Earth's curvature, weather systems, and the need to avoid restricted airspace all play a role in determining the optimal flight path. This understanding not only enhances our appreciation for the science behind aviation, but also underscores the importance of continuous learning and adaptation in this ever-evolving field. As technology continues to advance, we can expect even more sophisticated methods of optimizing flight paths, making air travel even safer, faster, and more efficient. Innovations such as real-time data analysis, artificial intelligence, and advanced simulation tools are already transforming the way we approach flight planning, these advancements promise to reduce fuel consumption, minimize delays, and enhance the overall passenger experience. The future of aviation is bright, with endless possibilities on the horizon, 
driven by the same spirit of exploration and innovation that has always propelled humanity forward.